there is uh, two uh, ways to divide this. Uh, one is called the new cortex, uh, also called isocortex or a homogenic cortex. And from histology point of view, it has six layers, which I will show it to you in the next slide. And the other one is called allocortex or heterogenic cortex, and it has only uh, three layers. So uh, you don't find this in majority of the brain, you only find it in a specific areas. Uh, so the two areas that you can find it, one is um, uh, called archicortex, and that is in the hippocampus and dante gyrus, and they are located in the temporal lobe of cerebrum. And the other one is called paleocortex, which is in the olfactory cortex, part of the limbic system. Um, hippocampus and dante gyrus is also a part of the limbic system. Uh, so the lobes of the um, uh, cerebrum, uh, we discussed this before and uh, before the midterm, but um, uh, the lobes, if you start from here, from the uh, central gyrus, uh, then uh, this lobe is the frontal lobe. And as you can see, the, the gyrus in front of it is called the precentral gyrus, very important. Uh, this is the superior frontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior frontal gyrus, and this is called orbitofrontal gyrus. It's part of the limbic system. Um, uh, then is the uh, parietal lobe. So this is our, uh, posterior to the central uh, sulcus. Um, you see that this gyrus is called the post-central gyrus, and again an important uh, area of the brain. Uh, you also have the supramarginal gyrus, uh, superior uh, parietal lobe, and angular gyrus. A temporal lobe is separated from the parietal and frontal lobes by the lateral sulcus. This is the lateral sulcus. So you can see there is another gyra here, superior temporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus. And this area is the occipital lobe, and uh, it has the superior occipital lobe, middle, occipital lobe and inferior occipital lobe. If you look at it medially, this is the medial view. So again, central sulcus here, anterior to that you have the frontal uh, lobe and you have uh, the, this gyrus is called the paracentral lobule and this is the superior frontal gyrus which is the same as this one. Um, uh, posterior to the central sulcus, you have the precuneus uh, and you have the cuneus, which is part of the occipital uh, lobe. And this is the parieto occipital sulcus, not written there, parieto occipital uh, sulcus. And uh, this is uh, singular gyrus, uh, part of the limbic system or limbic lobe. Uh, there's other parts too, but it's not shown here properly. Uh, here is the um, a little bit cut here, and you can see um, other part of the limbic uh, uh, system or limbic lobe. Uh, this is a parahippocampal gyrus, and ancus is part of the parahippocampal gyrus here. Um, you can see the for lingual gyrus part of the temporal lobe, uh, fusiform gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus, which was this one. Um, so this is the histology um, of the majority of the cortex of brain. So it has six uh, different layers. Uh, the first layer is the molecular layer. So this is the most superficial layer. Uh, then is the external uh, granular layer, uh, so lots of fibers are there. Uh, then is the external pyramidal layer, so you can see neurons here, but
but uh, they are uh, smaller in size. Uh, then is the internal granular layer, and this is the granule or satellite cell. Uh, stellate cells are there located here. Um, then is the internal pyramidal uh, layer, and this is the really, really big uh, pyramidal uh, neurons are located. These are the largest uh, neurons in the body, especially uh, the motor ones are the largest in, in the body. And the uh, deepest layer is called multiform layer, which has uh, the self have different uh, shapes. So uh, below the uh, cortex, you have different fibers, uh, starting with association fibers. Association fibers are in the uh, same uh, cerebral hemisphere, and, and they do not cross in the same side. Uh, you can see um, superior longitudinal fasciculus, so it's connecting the frontal lobe with the parietal and occipital lobe. You can see ancinate uh, fasciculus that is connecting frontal lobe and the temporal lobe, and the inferior frontal occipital um, fasciculus that is uh, connecting temporal lobe uh, and uh, occipital lobe, but also gets fibers from the frontal lobe. You can also see the arcuate uh, fasciculus, and uh, uh, I will come back to this later. I will show you what is this uh, here. This, uh, importance of this and the arcuate fiber see this is arcuate fasciculus which is long and arcuate fibers which is shorter and these are connecting uh, the neighboring gyri so two uh, gyri connecting uh, you know that are close to each other it's connected by the arcuate fibers also you can see the cingulum and cingulum is part of the limbic system so cingulate gyrus and uh, Parahippocampal gyrus and ancus is located as is part of uh, cingulum. If you make uh, a coronal uh, section like this, then you see a structure like that, and this darker area that you see, this is the cortex of the brain, and the cortex of the brain contains a cell body of the neurons, and these uh, other areas are the white areas. Uh, so these are the fibers. Um, so for the association fibers, they stay on the same side. So these ones that you see, superior longitudinal fasciculus, and this is the superior longitudinal fasciculus, including the arcuate um, fasciculus. Uh, you can also see the cingulum. This is the cingulum you can see. It's around here. And the third one is the inferior uh, frontooccipital fasciculus, which is this one. You also see some other stuff there, but it's not part of the association fiber. They are not part of association fiber. One is the corpus callosum that is connecting uh, one side to the other side. Uh, and you can see the internal capsule. Uh, that is, these are also the other fibers, uh, but um, they are connecting cortex with the lower part of the uh, brain. So these, are, these two are not part of uh, association fibers. Uh, the second type is called uh, commissural fibers. Uh, these uh, commissures are connecting the two cerebral hemispheres. So the first one is a small one that's called anterior commissure, this one. And the, this is the one that connects uh, the two temporal lobe. Uh, then is the um, corpus callosum. This is this really the big one. This is the corpus callosum that has different parts. Um, so starting with the rostrum here, and then it goes to genio. Genio is located anteriorly. This is the bend. Uh, so genio means knee. And if you make a section around here, this is the area that you can see. This is the genio, and these are the uh, shorter fibers. These are called uh, forceps minor. Uh, then is the body. Uh, so. Um, it's a bigger part there, and this is the body that you can see connecting uh, the cortices uh, of the two cerebral hemispheres on the two sides. And finally, is pelenium located posteriorly, and this is connecting uh, occipital lobes. Body is connecting the frontal and parietal lobes, and genus connecting frontal lobes on two sides. 
and uh, the section here you can see it in this area so the forceps major just uh, fibers are there so longer fibers you can see it here uh, and on this view uh, also anterior commissure by the way you can see the anterior commissure that was here and you can see it uh, it's located uh, lower than than uh, corpus callosum and this is the posterior commissure posterior commissure is actually located in the midbrain so we are uh, not talking about midbrain here but uh, just for naming purposes I put it there uh, the third one is called the projection fiber so projection fibers are connecting cortex of brain with other parts of brain uh, so let's start with this image you can see this it's a coronal section uh, and this is the cortex of the brain uh, this is the these are the white fibers the white fibers that you can see um, so um, uh, from the for let's talk about the projection fibers first uh, one of them is called corona radiata look at the name corona uh, so this is uh, one fiber this around this area this area and another one is called the internal capsule this is the internal capsule on each side uh, so if you look at a little bit closer uh, then you can see something like this so this is the internal capsule so this has an anterior limb anterior limb is located between the caudate nucleus and the lantiform nucleus it has a genome and it, uh, it has a posterior limb so the posterior limb is located between the thalamus and the lantiform nucleus. The anterior limb, uh, you can see the corticopontin uh, fibers are there, so it goes from cortex to pontin, from there it goes to the cerebellum. And thalamocortical fibers are there, and this is coming from uh, the two different nuclei of the thalamus, uh, dorsal median and also anterior nucleus uh, here in this area the, the genome uh, contains corticobulbar fibers so this is the one that is the providing upper motor neuron for the cranial nerves and here is another corticopontin fibers in the genome uh, so in the posterior limb you can see thalamocortical fibers again from thalamus going to the cortex of brain but it's coming from different areas uh, uh, from uh, VP and VL and VA ventral posterior, ventral lateral and ventral uh, anterior uh, groups of uh, thalamic nuclei um, also the, the um, uh, corticospinal tracts are located here and you, you remember corticospinal tract from chapter uh, 7 and that is the conscious uh, tract that is important for movement of um, limbs and, uh, and, and the torso uh, so uh, you can see that the arm is located here trunk and then limbs are located here the fibers are located um, in different uh, areas 